morning, everybody. This is Dr. Katherine Goodson from Survive This Disaster. A couple weeks ago, I was visiting with my great friends, Paul and Nikki Harmon from The Shift Economy in Austin, Texas, and they had a fantastic idea. Why not develop an emergency kit for your pets? They love their animals. So what did we do? We went home and came up with a kit just for Nikki. So the petster was born. We want to show you the components of the kit today before we take it to Nikki because she gets the first one. So let's talk about the components today and see if you have any ideas that could make this kit better for your pet. We know we love our pets and we know Nikki and Paul love their pets more than anything. So we think their items will be as good for your pets. If you have any ideas that you think could make this kit better, drop me a line at survivethisdisaster.com. But we think these are going to be great for your pet as well. Let's talk about some of the items that are in our kitchen. Hi y'all, I'm Jackie and I'm also with Survive This Disaster. And when the Pepster was born, I was asked to put together this kit for our pets. Being a pet lover myself, I couldn't help but get involved in so heavily. Uh, for the aid of our pets. Say you had to evacuate and you're bringing your pets, do you think of something actually emergency-wise happening to your pet if you're on the road, evacuating, taking your pet on vacation with you? Do you ever consider those options? That's okay, because we have. Now let's talk about the components of our kits. Jackie's just gonna set them out for you while I read the components off. Our kit contains antiseptic wipes, cotton applicators, hand towels, emergency foil blankets, a smaller towel or blanket that you can use as a stretcher, polysporin, triangular bandages, sterile water, Benadryl, all types of bandages, rescue blanket, a fold up water bowl. We love which, this. Which is awesome because I didn't even know they exist. But yes, this is a water bowl. Love that. Love it. Little baby aspirins. Baby aspirins. All types of medications that you need, your pets need, if anything were to happen. We also give them a mild Benadryl. Chest a little peroxide. We love that. This, I love this. When I found this, I had to buy it for the Pepster because how many of our pets sit still when we're trying to doctor them if they have a wound? Spray bottle. That love is just it. the coolest. It is. And you know, one of the other things that we were talking about is that as we're preparing our families for their emergencies, for so many of us, our pets are our family, and those are the members of our family that we take for granted so much. When you're preparing your family for their emergency, just take an extra moment to have this family member prepared just as well. Well, they won't have to, Catherine. We've done it for you. All you have to do, get on our website, get your Pepster, you're good to go. Everything you'll need for your pets right here. We've got it taken care of for you. Visit us at SurviveThisDisaster.com. You'll also find lots of information for your human needs, too. We carry a full line of products for your automobile, for camping, and for full range emergency care. We have um, information on there that will be helpful for your family for all its uh, survival needs. We have free downloadable bonus books on shelter construction, on emergency supplies that you would need for long-term preparedness. We have free first aid manuals from the American Heart Association and free flip guides for you for your family. Just take some time to visit us. We've got videos on all types of emergencies that would give you useful information too. We really appreciate your time and have a wonderful summer.